<sighs> Hello, little flat people. Oh, I suppose I'm going to have to do it. <sighs> it's that. Uh, it's the one that everybody. Oh, now I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Yeah. We need to do this. Oh, where's my dog? Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the dog, this is really cool. Uh, pick up a stick. He likes sticks. Where's the doggy gone? Doggy! Now we can find him if we do this. Oh, that wasn't a good example. Let's try that again. There we go. Hey, here he is. Here's the dog. Bring it back. Bring it back. He's a good boy. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Go and go fetch. Fetch. Can you jump? Can you jump? <laughs> go fetch. That's it. Bring it back. Should we see if we can make you roll over? Hey. Ooh, that's a good boy. I'm saying boy. It, it is a robot dog after all. I have absolutely no idea whether it's a boy or a girl. Sticks. Oh, sticks don't bounce. Sticks. Hey, that was cheeky. You're supposed to run up and fetch it. Go get it. Go on, it's over there. Go fetch the stick. That's a good boy. Right, okay. Now, whilst he's getting the stick. Um, oh, by the way, I've knelt down. That's why everything looks like lower. <laughs> Let me stand up again. You're not having the orb. No, you're not having the orb. Right. Um, this is solar system. Um, and this is fast. This, I, I, I really, I can't describe how massive it feels when you're inside. That's the sun. And what's really spooky is when you look down, because initially you sort of feel like you're going to fall. Um, and uh, this apparently is a, an accurate representation. Right, uh, let's go and see some planets. Uh, oh, Saturn. So here's Saturn. Saturn! And we can pick the planets up. Um, and we can put them back down again. Uh, we can also uh, throw the planets. Oh no! What's going on with Saturn? Now obviously it doesn't affect the, uh, the universe geographically, but I do have... Um, gravitationally should I say uh, but I do have a program that does that but here's Jupiter and let's just boink Jupiter on top of the Sun now coming around here uh, we have uh, speedy little Mercury we'll just get rid of Mercury we don't need that oh some asteroids now oh, you can't pick the asteroids up oh. oh, I'm in the middle of an asteroid field and racing away there is Venus Venus is in front of Earth. It's not now. It's behind Earth. And here's Earth. Now, I think that Earth um, needs to go on a bit of a trip because we need to go and visit some other stars. So, off you go. There, you can go out there somewhere. Oh, that'll be alright for it. Now, what do I do with Venus? Ah, here's Venus. Now, uh, let's put Venus on here. <laughs> <laughs> And let's, whoop, I'll tell you what we will do. We'll just teleport over here a moment. And teleport over here. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm close to my room boundaries. That's what the uh, the noise was then, in case you were wondering. Let's just uh, catch that. And let's plonk that. There you go. That's uh, now where Venus is. <laughs> so you can have to, oh, Mars. Mars, the red planet. <laughs> You can't eat the planets yet. Let's throw that over towards Saturn. Did we hit? Yay! Slam dunk. Um, I don't think you can pick up the sun. No, you can't pick up the sun, which sort of makes a bit of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Although picking up planets doesn't really make any sense at all. Earth! It was all the way out here. Get back. And this one, Neptune, which has some rings, which is good. They've got the rings in on Neptune. Whew. 
Oh, it didn't quite come far enough. I was trying to catch it. And uh, Uranus, the planet that spins differently to all the other planets. It sort of spins like that. And yeah, that was pretty good. Can you bounce them? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's do that with Saturn. Ready? Boing. Uh, it's a good job that Saturn doesn't spin like that in reality. Whoa, look at that. That was a good one. What's all the way out there? Ah, oh, they've stopped at Neptune. They haven't put Pluto in. With it being a Plutoid, I can uh, understand why they are only representing the planets. Um, and they've also not represented dwarf planets either, because there is no Keres, which would be somewhere around about where Uranus is at the moment, I think. Or is it a little bit further out? It's one of the three. Whee! Okay, that's uh, enough of the universe. Back to the lab. Oh, what I'm just really trying to do is just to give you a little snippet, a little bit of a feel for some of the freebies uh, that Valve have done, and every single one of them uh, is, is absolutely brilliant. There's one I don't get on with, uh, which is that one over there. Has uh, from an experiment. So, uh, let's have a look at the human body. Um, now, this is really, for, for me and, and, and for my son, this is uh, actually quite an interesting one. Um, this enables you to be able to uh, select different um, cross sections of the body uh, from this skeleton that's here. Uh, let me just uh, let me just stand back and teleport a bit closer. There we go. Okay. Um, and what I can do is I can select uh, different cross sections, and then when I get here, I can then actually look through. So that's inside the spine. Wow. And. Oh, look, there's the heart. That's, uh, and, uh, that, uh, that must be the stomach there. And there'll be the liver and intestines running down over here. And I don't think we've got kidneys. I don't think they've been scanned. Um, inside your collarbone. And, but it is absolutely incredible level of detail. Uh, now, the other one that's uh, quite quite good, it's just is at the cross section of the upper part of the skull because then you can do this and stick your head inside somebody else's head. I am a head in a head. Which head is virtual? Which head is real? Whee! Or you can look at the eye sockets like <laughs> aye aye! <laughs> or uh, let's have a look uh, the pelvis now I was trying to work out whether this was male or female but apparently um, you can't tell from the pelvis uh, even though they say you can um, it's very very difficult to identify Inside the spine, it is fascinating. Right, that's enough of. Woo -ha, let's teleport a long way away. Teleport over here. Oh, ah. hello, skeleton. Right, back to the lab.